Happy 2017, everyone. We made it. I know last year was really rough. It was really rough for myself and many of the people in my life. Um, I had personally a lot of loss of, of friendships, of relationships, of my work um, that I had anticipated continuing, of projects I started, uh, lots of things. Just, you know, I wasn't in control. And I think one of the things we need to learn in life is that we have to be willing to just sort of go with the flow and let go. And it's really, really difficult. And it's really, really hard for me specifically, especially when I have a vision of something that I'm trying to really accomplish. And I feel like I'm taking 10 steps backwards instead of going forward or every step forward I take, I feel like I'm at a standstill. Um, you know, I pay a lot of attention to the planetary alignments. I pay a lot of attention to the cycles of the moon. I really understand as a woman how that relates to my own life, uh, especially with the full moons and the new moons and us now being in Mercury retrograde, which really, I know a lot of, it freaks a lot of people out. They don't understand it. But really what it is, is just a time to sit back and reflect and try not to force anything and move forward because sometimes things just feel like they're at a standstill. Um, so for me in my life, and I think going forward this year is really about acceptance and understanding that I have a, a very, very strong vision of what I will and can accomplish in the city, but I have to be willing to let some things go to free up space to be able to do that. Um, one of the things I'm challenging myself to do this year is to speak about my experience with the Butterfly Project. Um, the Butterfly Project was something that I started and had anticipated continuing. It is not continuing, and I want to talk about exactly why that is. Uh, I've been afraid to sort of speak out and talk about everything that happened, um, but I think that now is the time to be bold. And so I will be putting together talks and workshops and panel discussions, not only with myself but with others, because if we want to make change in the city, we have to be able to come together collectively because we cannot work in these individual silos, whether we're artists, activists, community organizers, um, you know, leaders, politicians, it does not matter. The reason why we do not see change is because we exist and work from a place of ego rather than a place of collective energy. And so we're being asked now as a society, especially given what we're up against for the next four years potentially, is how do we start to figure out ways to build with one another. And so my goal this year and my vision this year is to do whatever I need to do to uh, put out that message. So I look forward to giving you all some updates on things that I'm having the works that I'm really excited about. And let's make this a good year. All right, peace.